Hello everyone, Pixel Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest one small favor. This quest is considered experience difficulty and is very long, about an hour and a half. The requirements for this quest include 36 agility, 25 crafting, 18 herb lore, 30 smithing, and completion of the Rune Mysteries, Shiloh Village, and Druidic Ritual quests. You must also be able to defeat a level 92 Slagolith and several level 44, 48, and 49 Dwarf Gang members in multi-combat. The required items for this quest include 4 Steel Bars, Bronze Bar, Iron Bar, Chisel, 2,000 Coins, 2 Guam Leaves, Marintil, Harrowlander, Hammer, Empty Pot, Bowl of Hot Water. You can get this item by first filling up an empty bowl of water and then cooking it on a range or fire. Soft Clay, which is obtained during the quest, Empty Teacup, which is obtained during the quest, and Five Pigeon Cages, which is obtained during the quest. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have weight-reducing gear, such as Boots of Lightness or Graceful Gear. Five of each teleport tab to Ardoin, Varrock, Camelot, Lumbridge, and Falador. Amulet of Glory Charged, Ring of Dueling, Games Necklace, Draymond or Lunar Staff, Two Cut Opal, Jade, and Red Topaz, Stamina and Super Energy Potions, the best pickaxe you can wield, melee armor, and food. These items will not be needed till the end of the quest, so leave them in your bank for now. Two Empty Inventory Slots. There are some maps in the description below that'll help you identify some of the key points of this quest, open it up to keep it handy. For the good majority of this quest will be given favors that we must accomplish later on. You start the quest by first going to Shiloh Village. The easiest way to get there is by teleporting to Ardoin and then using the charter ship to Brimhaven. Once you have arrived in Brimhaven, walk south until you come across a cart. Right click on the cart and choose the pay fare option. You will now be in Shiloh Village. Walk just north across the bridge and go inside of a large building. Talk with Yanni Salika. When prompted, say, is there anything else interesting to do around here? Okay, see you in a tick, and I'll get going then. Check your quest journal to see if you have started this quest. He'll ask for you to get some red mahogany logs from a forester south of the village. Walk back across the bridge and go east towards a fenced-in area full of zombies. Open the two gates and then jump across the cart to get to the other side. Walk slightly south and talk with the forester. Say, I need to talk to you about red mahogany, and okay, I'll take your axe to get it sharpened. He will give you a blunt axe. Now walk directly west until you come across a ladder. Go up the ladder and talk with Captain Shanks. Say, actually, I have a favor to ask. He will refuse to sharpen the axe. Talk to him again and say, I'm interested in a boat trip. Yes, I'll buy a ticket for the ship and Port Serum, please. He will sail you to Port Serum. Once in Port Serum, walk north to an axe shop. Talk with Brian. Say, do you sharpen axes? Look, can you sharpen this cursed axe or what? Okay, okay, I'll do it. I'll go and see Aggie. Brian will keep the axe for safekeeping. Now use your Amulet of Glory and teleport to Drainer Village. Speak to Aggie the Witch, who is located in the center of town. Say, could I ask you about being a character witness? Let me guess, you're going to ask me to do you a favor. Oh, okay, I'll see if I can find Jimmy. Walk east of Drainer Village to the Ham Hideout, which looks like an abandoned house. You will see a locked trap door. Right click on the door and select the pick lock option. Wait until the door opens and take the ladder down. Go to the southeast corner of the hideout and talk with Johannes. Say I'm looking for Jimmy the Chisel. And I suppose you need me to do you a favor. And okay, Jimmy has to be worth more than a few scrawny chickens. Leave the headquarters the same way you came in and walk northeast to Fred the Farmer's house. Talk to Fred. Say, I need to talk to you about Jimmy. He'll tell you to see Seth Groats, who is located on the other side of the river. Follow the path east and continue across the bridge.
walk a little north to Seth's house. Talk with Seth and say, oh, okay, I guess it's not that much further to Vrock. Now teleport to Vrock. Walk to the armor shop that is located just northeast of the Vrock Square. Talk to Horvik. Say, I need to talk to you about chicken cages. And okay, I guess one good turn does another. Next, you'll need to go to the apothecary in Varrock, which is to the south. Talk to the apothecary about getting an airtight pot. When prompted, choose, talk about one small favor. Horvik is ill, I need breathing salts and herbal tincture. Oh, okay, I guess it's not that far to the barbarian village. Walk west towards the barbarian village or use an amulet of glory to Edgeville and walk south. Talk to Tassie Slipcast, who is located inside of the potter's house at the south end of the village. Say, I'll deal with Hammer Spike. Now walk west again towards the Dwarven Mine. Take the ladder down and walk south for a little while until a western path opens up. Walk as far west as you can and talk to Hammer Spike. Say, oh, come on, do something nice for Tassie. Have you always been a gangster? Okay, another favor, I think I can manage that. Use your game necklace to Burthorpe and walk south to Taverly. Talk to Sanfu, who is located in the house with the herb icon on the second floor. Are you taking any new initiates? Do you accept dwarves? A dwarf I know wants to become an initiate, and yep, it's a deal. After talking with Sanfu, exit the building and walk just north to a house. On the table will be a teacup. Empty the teacup and fill it up with your hot water. Use your guam leaves, hair lander, and marintil on the teacup. You should now have a Guthix Rest Tea 3. You may drop the empty bowl. Walk west towards White Wolf Mountain. If you are a lower level, be aware that level 25 and 38 white wolves may attack you. Go to the top of the mountain near the gnome glider. Talk to Captain Bleemadge. Say, I have a special tea here for you from Sanfu. And okay, I'll go and get you some trash. Teleport to Camelot and walk southeast towards the Catherby Bank. Fill up on stamina or super energy potions, however, leave six empty inventory spots. Just south of the Catherby Bank is a general store who is run by Aaron. Talk to Aaron and say, I need to talk trash to you, and yes, okay, I'll do it. Walk to the house that is north of the church in Sears Village. Talk to Fantuti. Say, hi, can you give me a weather forecast? What can I do to help? And yes, okay, I'll do it. Now you need to walk towards the fishing guild. Once there, enter the cave that is just south of the guild. Walk all the way north along the eastern side of the cave until you come across an open area to the east. Go into the area where a cutscene will occur showing a statue trapped in the rock. Right click on the statue and choose the search option. You will find a message. Teleport to Ardoin. Walk to a house that is just south of the northern bank of East Ardoin. Go around to the back side of the house and collect five pigeon cages. Now go to the most northeastern part of Ardoin and talk to Wizard Cromperty. Say, I need to talk to you about some girl stuck in some rock. And, oh, okay, one more small favor isn't going to kill me, I hope. Now you'll need to go to Port Kazard. The easiest way to get there is by using your minigame teleport to Fishing Trawler. Walk onto the southern dock and talk to Tyndall the Merchant. When prompted, choose Ask About Iron Oxide and OK, I'll do it. Next, you'll be going to Felda Pills. The easiest way to get there is by using a fairy ring which is just north of Port Kazard by the Tower of Life. Use the code AKS to fill the pills. 
Alternatively, you can use your Ring of Dueling to Castle Wars and then walk south. Once in Felda Pills, go to Rance, who is located to the east. Talk to Rance and say, I need to talk to you about a mattress, and okay, I'll see what I can do. Walk west all the way towards the gnome glider icon on the map. Talk to Normadium nearby. Say, Rance said I should come and help you finish this project, and yes, I'll take a look at them. He wants you to repair the landing strip. There are eight landing strip lights. Right-click on the landing strip lights and choose the search option. You should receive a gem. Cut the gem with your chisel and then use the cut gem on the light to put it back. Continue this process for all eight landing strip lights. You may accidentally crush some of the gems, so use the ones that are already in your inventory that you brought along to replace some. If you don't happen to have it, then you can buy some from the gnome. You are finally done with receiving favors. Now we can start completing them. Once you are all done with the landing strip lights, talk with Normadium to tell him that the lights are fixed. Go back to Rance and say, Okay, I've helped out the gnome. He shouldn't bother you anymore. He'll give you a comfy mattress. Next, you're going to have to talk to Tyndall in Port Cazard. You can get there by using an Ardoin teleport and then walking, or using the fairy rings nearby to code DJP. Once you're talking to Tyndall, say, I have the mattress. He'll give you iron oxide. Go back to Wizard Cromperty in Northeastern Ardoin. Say, I have that iron oxide you asked for. He'll give you an animate rock scroll. Now you'll need to bank. Collect your melee armor, weapons, food if necessary, and the best pickaxe you can wield for the upcoming battle. The level 92 Slaglith is weak to pickaxes and crush attacks, so be sure to wield your pickaxe and set its attack to crush. Bring another weapon for later. Head back to the cave by the fishing guild and return to the room with the person trapped in the rock. Read your animate rock scroll to start the fight. If you leave the room or take too long to kill him, you'll have to start the fight over. Once the Slagolith is dead, read the scroll again to free Petra from the rocks. Teleport to Camelot and make sure that you have at least three empty inventory spaces. Go back to Fuantuti, who is located just north of the church in Sears Village. Talk to him and say, I've released Petra, she should have returned. I'll run you through if you don't give me that weather report. Why can't you get a clear picture? Which special Sears tools do you mean? And what do you mean special combination of items? He'll tell you about his weather vane. Climb the ladder and then walk east and climb the next ladder to the roof. Just west is the weather vane. Right click on the weather vane and choose the search option. Use your hammer on the weather vane and search it again. You should receive three broken weather vane parts. Go back down and exit the house. Just across the street to the north is an anvil. Use the parts on the anvil to fix them. This will use the iron, steel, and bronze bars. Go back to the roof and use each item on the weather vane to repair it. Talk to Fontuti again and say, I fixed the weather vane. Go to the general store in Catherby and talk with Aaron. Say, I have the weather report for you. Talk with Captain Bleemage on the top of the White Wolf Mountain. Say, hey there, did you get your trash? Use your games necklace to Berthorpe and walk south to Taverly to talk to Sanfu, who is located on the second floor of the building with an herb icon. Say hi there, the gnome pilot has agreed to take you to see the ogres. Teleport to Falador and walk northeast towards the door of a mine to talk with Hammer Spike. Enter it and walk south until a western path opens up. Take the western path all the way to the end to talk with Hammer Spike. He has changed his mind and will of the dwarven gang members attack you in multi combat. You must defeat all of the members and then talk to Hammerspike for him to back down. Note, all gang members must be defeated, even the ones that weren't attacking you and just roam the area for this to work. When they are all gone, quickly talk to Hammerspike before more spawn. Use your Amulet of Glory to Edgeville and then walk south to Barbarian Village. 
talk with Tassie, who is on the southern side of the village. She'll teach you how to make an airtight pot and it will give you soft clay. Use the soft clay on the potter's wheel nearby and select the pot lid option. Use the unfired lid on the oven to finish it. Teleport to Vrock and walk south to the apothecary. Talk to him about one small favor and hey there, I have an airtight pot for you. He will give you salts. Go northeast to Horvick in the armor shop. Talk to him and say, I have the tincture and the breathing salts. Talk to him again and say, I have the five pigeon cages you asked for. He'll give you chicken cages. Teleport to Lumbridge and walk north to Seth, who's located at the farm on the east side of the river. Talk to him and give him the chicken cages. Walk west to the ham headquarters. Again, you'll have to right click and select the pick lock option to open the door. Once inside, walk southeast to Johannes. Say, you're in luck, I've managed to swing that chicken deal for you. Use your amulet of glory to drain her village and talk with Aggie the witch. Say, good news, Jimmy has been released. Walk west to Port Serum's axe shop and speak with Brian. Say, I've returned with good news. He will give you the sharpened axe. Now you'll need to go to the forester who is outside of Shiloh Village. The easiest way to get there is to teleport to Ardoin and then take the charter to Brimhaven. Once in Brimhaven, walk south to a cart, right click, and choose the pay fare option. You are now in Shiloh Village. Go through the zombie infested area to the east again and then south to the forester. Talk to him and say, good news, I have sharpened your axe. He will give you red mahogany logs. Go back across the zombies into the village and then north across the bridge to the quest start. Talk to Yanni and say, here's the red mahogany you asked for to complete the quest. Congratulations, you have received two quest points, Gnome Glider Route to Felda Pills, two reward lamps giving 10,000 experience each, key ring for storing keys, and the ability to make a Guthix Rest Tea. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.